Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a BoxyCharm Premium unboxing for you guys. If you are not familiar with what BoxyCharm is, it is a beauty subscription service. There are three levels to the subscription. There is Base Box, which is $25 a month. There is Premium, which is $35 a month. And then there is Lux, which is quarterly and adds up to be $50. So if you are new to subscribing to BoxyCharm and you end up getting a Lux, that means that you are skipping out on your base box. I do not believe that this month is a Lux month, but nonetheless, I am here to share with you guys my premium box. And if I'm being transparent with you guys, I went through hell <laughs> getting this box. So I subscribe to BoxyCharm every single month and usually my shipments are totally seamless. I usually don't have any issues with them arriving. This one shipped out on the 13th and it did not arrive until the end of the month. And I mean the end of the month, the 28th of the month. I had to literally inquire with the Boxy Bot on their website and see where my package was. They did end up doing me 10,000, or not 10,000, 1,000 charms for the inconvenience of it just being totally delayed by FedEx. But nonetheless, it is here. I did want to record this video relatively quickly, so I did not add up the value of any of the items in the box. We are going into this box blindly, not knowing the value of it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pop the top. As always, it is securely packed with foam. I'm going to put you down here. That way we have a little bit of an element of surprise with the box. So this month's theme is, excuse my hair on it, Boxy Charm Sweet Treats. So a super cute card there. This is variation number C21043100. PM. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside this box. I'm going to go ahead and grab my first choice item, and that is the Wander Beauty Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate. So this is essentially a serum. It has a retail value of $68. It says formulated with 1% retinoid to amp up skin's natural renewal cycle and help diminish the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin tone, and texture. Squalane and peptides hydrate skin and improve elasticity, while dragon's blood helps soothe skin from environmental stressors faced during the day. So I love how they put these like random things in there, like dragon's blood. blood. Like, please tell me where are you finding dragon's blood? For in this serum. So $68 retail value sticking with skincare. We did get the 111 Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. So I'm always shocked when I see the prices of 111. It says that these masks have a retail value of $135. I would never Never, 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 and I'm not trying to come off negative, never spend $135 on some face masks. My $135 would just be well spent elsewhere. So the description for these say, the ultimate pre-event mask, this hydrogel formula infuses the skin with radiance boosting ingredients for glowing complexion. Originally created as a limited edition item, this mask has grown into a global cult product and a staple in the 111 skin collection. So I will be honestly decluttering these on Mercari. I just have too many face masks. I do have most of my face masks packed up and in boxes ready to go to the new house. Next we have here a dose of color slip liner and just based on the packaging, it looks like a really nice peachy nude. 
The color on this is Ruffled, and I think I got this in a prior box. So, unfortunately, once again, another declutter, but I do enjoy getting these makeup subscriptions. I enjoy getting them. I enjoy showing them on YouTube. Anything I declutter, I do post on Mercari. I will have my Mercari linked below. So, the Dose of Colors Lip Liner retails for $14. It says this creamy, long-wearing lip liner delivers transfer-resistant high-coverage color with a matte finish, built-in sharpener included. So, really nice wearable color. Sticking with, like, wearable colors, I did open my box beforehand, and I've seen this Rowan My 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 Liquid Lip Balm. And just based on this, I'm like, oh, wow, those would be, like, the perfect combo. Like, literally. You got your lip liner, you got your lipstick, this is like totally inaccurate as to what the color looks like. Let me go ahead and pull the color out of the box because originally I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep that. That's just so pretty. I love liquid lipsticks. That's the color. Now with the light on, I guess it looks close, but I was anticipating more of a pink where it looks more of a brown. So the Rowan Beauty Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm is a non-sticky alternative to classic lip gloss. The liquid lip balm soothes the lips as it nourishes, regenerates and repairs, formulated with mango and grapeseed oils to hydrate and protect. Its pr it provides the high shine of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm and it retails for $26. I've never heard of Rowan before. Now, if a liquid lipstick is that good of a product and a color I enjoy, I would definitely pay $26. So I think potentially that does have the value of being a good item here. Now, to me, this was like the superstar in the box. This is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. This was not a choice item. I was just fortunate enough to get it in my box. I was really happy to receive it in my box. I'm trying to get it to where it'll stay for you guys to see. So the Marc Jacobs Beauty Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer retails for $39. It says this lightweight blurring primer extends makeup wear and features five forms of coconut to help nourish and smooth the complexion in a universal shade. It controls shine without making skin feel dry or overly matte and creates a perfectly prepped canvas for foundation. I won't lie, I'm really intrigued on giving this a try. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up going through my makeup collection, decluttering some of the other primers that I haven't used. That way I can keep this one. I'm just trying to get my collection down to a more manageable size. Last but not least is the other all-star in the box. Like literally between these two products, this is what made this box. You guys know I always save the best for last. So we did get the Natasha Denona Coral Palette. This was my second choice item. This is the full size. This isn't the mini palette. This is the big one. Well, not like the big, big one, but the big five pan. Let me go ahead and see if I can open this one-handed so I can show you guys it. This is super pretty. I did end up keeping one for myself and I will be decluttering one on Mercari. So let's go ahead and pop that right there. Sorry about the glare on it. So the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette retails for $48. It says a five pan eyeshadow palette that features five buttery soft shades that blend seamlessly in order to create a vibrant, ultra pigmented, long lasting look. I am a huge fan of Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I have several of her palettes even before she started appearing in Boxy Charm. So I've always been an avid fan of her, so that is always welcome in my personal opinion in these boxy charm boxes. So let's go ahead and take a final look at everything that came in the box. Let's go ahead and move that up there so we can get it in the shot. So this is everything that came in my box. Now, personally, just looking at it at no, as an overall box, I think that this is a good, complete look box. You have your eyeshadow, you have your lip liner, your lipstick, you have your primer, you got your skincare. The only thing you really need to add is your foundation. 
your eyeliner, if you wear eyeliner, mascara, and a little bit of blush. Contour is optional. So all in all, I would definitely say that this is a good overall box. Let's go ahead and see if we can add it up real quick in our head. So 68 plus 48 would be 116. Plus 135 would be 251. Now my math could be slightly off. Plus 39 would be two, yeah, 290. Plus 26 would be 316. Plus 14 would be $330. So if my math is correct in my head, that is $330 value for $35. Not bad, especially when what I do is I kind of pick and choose what I want. What I don't want, I end up either giving away, sharing with my daughter, or posting to Mercari. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.